What's up guys, Nolan here. Today we got a couple hideout changes and you guys want me to talk about the current Tarkov economy. It seems like this is the end of the world for a lot of people, so please remember this stuff is easy to mess with and to give proper feedback so BSG can hear you out. If something seems blatantly wrong, BSG probably knows about it and are working out a way to fix it or they are just testing something. When it comes to changes like these, specifically BSG can literally do it by phone on the fly because it's basically values in a spreadsheet somewhere and even if they weren't that easy to change, the game is still not done yet so so please don't freak out about stuff like this. Now today's changes mostly affects Bitcoin. For those of you who don't know, the Bitcoin in game actually does track the IRL Bitcoin price. So when real Bitcoin goes to the moon, so does the in-game Bitcoin. However, this in-game Bitcoin has gotten a little bit too powerful for this economy. So BSG have made changes to help slow the farm. As of today, they've increased the farm time for each Bitcoin and the construction requirements for each tier of the Bitcoin farm itself. They've also increased the build cost of the solar panels as well. The Solar panels pairing very well with the gas shortage that we're seeing in game since it halves your gas usage in the hideout. These are all just quick fixes because the economy is not in a proper state for a final tune yet. We'll see what happens to the economy once we eventually get another wipe. I would think that they would need to have most if not all of the major contributing factors to the economy actually in the game before you can fully tune and balance it. We're still waiting for the armor and weapon changes to significantly change the economy of the game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out my changing point playlist but the TLDR is that armor will get less effective and all weapons will get more fragile due to the armor hitbox and weapon malfunction changes. Once these changes come in, we'll see a wave of cheap weapons take the spotlight more than ever and that will hit the economy hard. The daily and weekly tasks can give major effects on the economy as well, depending on what they pay out for rewards. The addition of the United Nations, Russian GRU, and other scav factions will affect the economy big time because they will make certain loot more easily accessible while possibly making other loot less accessible. This is going to be depending on how they are equipped, how difficult they are to defeat, what maps they'll be on, and what they are guarding on those maps. Not to mention, if they do end up putting all of the traders or just some of them actually in raid, that will have a massive effect as well. Once all of that is in game, we'll start to see final passes on the overall economy. On top of all of that, BSG will have economic events in game to affect supply and demand, like what we've been seeing with the gas for the past few weeks. As usual, guys, just play and test the game until you stop having fun. Leave feedback and take breaks. We're still waiting to hear back about a new Tarkov TV cast. I might be able to get a new Q&A with Nikita if we don't get anything soon, so I'll let you guys know more once I do. For today's community spotlight gameplay, we have our resident Viking ghost freak in the background. You can check out the links in the description if you want to see more of him. And that's going to do it for today, guys. You can find full videos on the subjects that I've brought up today in my dev playlist here. If you like this video, then you know the drill. Please subscribe. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learn something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.